Hello everyone! I get a lot of questions about how to get rid of the water in the holes. That's why today I decided to talk about that. So the first thing is what to do when you are in a rush. Imagine that you play in the orchestra or you're in a band or uh, you are in the lesson with your professor and you don't have time to swab your clarinet. So imagine that we have water in this key. What you should do is just open that key and blow so fast inside. In addition to that, you can use the help of the cigarette paper because you know blowing inside of the hole is just a temporary solution. You put the cigarette paper between the hole and the key and do this. You will see the water on the paper and you will get rid of it for some time, at least. Of course, this would be even better if you can swap the clarinet after doing that. But I repeat again, if you don't have time, well, that's the only thing you can do. So now I'm going to talk about the best solution. So you remove the other parts of the clarinet and you just take the part where you have the water. Here I say that we assume that there is water in the A key. That's why I took the upper joint. So first you should put the cigarette paper between the hole and the key. And then you close all the holes and with the help of your hand you should cover the lower part of the upper joint and from the upper part you should blow and open this key at the same time. Make sure that you're opening only this key or if you have water in that key for example make sure that you're opening only this key or it's the same thing for the other keys Imagine that you have water in that keys, you should use this finger to open them and do this move. I'm showing you, for example, I have water in that key, let's say. I open the key, place the paper carefully and doing the same thing. Closing the fingers, covering the lower part of the upper joint and then I'm going to blow and open that key with the help of my finger here. And if there is water, you will see the water on the paper and that's how you get rid of the water in the holes. And then again, after doing this, you shouldn't forget to swap that part. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like. And if you like this kind of videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>